All right, guys, now we're back with part two of our stringing tutorial, okay? Um, if you didn't like how your top string look, looked, you can always just go back, undo everything, and make sure that the lines are tighter, the mesh is more flush along the top of the head here, okay? Um, you can cut this off now if you want, or like what I do is I wait until the very end in case I need to move some things around uh, and cut it off then. All right, now on to our second part, which is our side wall here. Normally, I like to string up both sides and go down at the same time. That way you can see how the channel is forming, how the pocket is forming, okay? But for today, we're going to go step by step and go down one side, all right? We're going to take our string, all right? Again, already has the knot on the other end. We're going to feed that through from the side, from outside to the inside in the second hole here, like so. Feed that all the way through. We're going to go up through the first diamond here. Okay, so from front to back. Pull that all the way through. We're doing the same thing that we did with our top string here. We're just securing the mesh to the head. All right, so we fed that through the head, through the mesh. We're going to go back, make that loop, and feed it through that second hole again underneath that first line and up through the diamond like so. Okay, when we pull that tight, all right, it's securing that mesh to the head. All right, let me pull this little flap up so you can see. Pulled it nice and tight. All right, we are going to make our first SI knot, all right? And how we do that is take our line, feed it through the mesh from top to bottom or from back to front like so, and then we are going to take our line and feed it through um, the one, two, three, four, fifth hole here. Okay, fifth hole, right there. Feed that through from outside in. Pull that nice and tight. Feed it back up through the mesh. Okay, and what that's going to do is pull that mesh piece all the way down. Okay, check the tension. That's our first SI. We're all, we're essentially going to be doing SIs all the way down the shaft or down the head. Take that line again, feed it down from back to front through the next diamond here, and we're going to skip one hole here. So it's going to be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh hole we're going to feed through. So seventh hole from outside in, pull that nice and tight, and then up through the mesh like so. Pull that slack out, pull the mesh down. Okay, check the tension. And we're going to keep doing that all the way down. We're going to skip another hole here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the ninth hole. Feed it through the mesh first. Feed it through the ninth hole from outside in. Pull the slack up through the mesh. And then cinch that down. Okay, so it should look like this. And this is where if we had the other side tied off, we can really see that channel start to form. All right. We're going to do the same knot, feed it through the next diamond here, pull the slack, and we're not going to skip any holes here. We're going to go right through the hole that's underneath here. So we're going um, our loop here to tie off the mesh. We're going to skip two, skip one, skip one. Do not skip another one. We're going right in underneath this knot. Outside in, pull that tight, up through the mesh, pull that tight. And as you can see, I'm pulling the mesh towards the inside so that we don't have any gaps like so. If I were to pull that tight and you see how we have a little bit of a gap right here, all right, we want to get rid of that gap, okay? 
So you just kind of have to manipulate the mesh a little bit, pull it that way, pull the string down. All right, do the same knot. We are going to skip a hole now. Okay, so through the mesh, pull the tension, skip a hole, go through the next hole, outside in. Pull that tight and up through the mesh, like so. Again, pull that mesh towards the middle. Okay, same knot down through the mesh. We're not skipping any holes, just like this guy where we doubled here one, two. We skipped, we're gonna go one, two. So right underneath that, this knot, we're going feeding through this hole, pull the slack out, manipulate the mesh, and put the feeder, feed this through, up through that diamond. Then pull that tight. All right, and that's all of our doubles, essentially. So one, two is a double, one, two is a double. The rest of the way down, we're going to go single, single, single. All right, and we're skipping holes along the way. So through the diamond here, back to front, pull that, skip a hole, feed it through, outside in, pull the slack, and up through the mesh again. As you can see, our pocket is still starting to take shape. Channels here, pockets there. Okay, two more knots. We're gonna feed it down through the next diamond here. Skip a hole through from outside in. Pull the slack back up through same diamond. And pull that. One more hole, down through the next diamond here. The second to last hole, feed it through, outside in, pull that, and then back up through that same diamond, like so. Okay, make sure that the mesh is pulled. You can see that pocket there, channels here. All we're gonna do to tie it off is feed from the inside to the outside of that last hole, pull that tight, and we're doing the same knot here like we did at the top. So wrap it around the finger, Oops. once, twice, pinch so you can wiggle it out, and then feed it through both holes like so. And it should look like so. Okay, now all we need to do is do the exact same thing down this side. Okay, and I'm gonna do that really quickly.